Hello all, uh, today we will see the general aptitude questions uh, which were appeared in uh, GATE 2015 Electronics and Communication for known session. So this is the question paper uh, which uh, I got it from GATE official site. Uh, they have released the what are the response of each individual who had appeared in GATE 2015. So as you can see the first question, choose the word most similar in meaning to the given word. Now the word is educe. Uh, options are exert, educate, extract and extend. So the answer is extract. Uh, you can just uh, google out uh, the word meaning for the word educe. Uh, another guess which you could have done in uh, the exam is educe means deduce. Like deduce, deduce, they are all like uh, the same sense. So it means bring out something from. So bring out means extract. So the option is three. And uh, the second question is simple. Log pi pi seven to the base x is minus one by three. Then the value of x is. So I have calculated it here. You can see log five by seven to the base x is minus one by three. So pi by six uh, pi by seven is equal to x is to minus one by three. Uh, if you divide it by 1, I mean 1 by this, I will get 7 by 5 is equal to x raised to 1 by 3. We just uh, brought it to the denominator. Okay. So, we, if we need to find x, so multiply both sides by uh, 1 by 3. I mean, by exponential to the power 1 by 3. So, 7 by 5 whole cube will be equal to x. So, 5 cube is how much? 125. 7 cube is 343. So, the option is A. And the third question is uh, pretty simple. You can see A minus B upon A plus B and all. So, if you sim uh, simplify, the answer will be 1. So, that's the answer. And uh, the fourth question of general aptitude is uh, choose the appropriate word out of the four options given below to complete the following sentence. So frogs, what they do? Frogs croak or roar or hiss or patter. So you can see lions roar and uh, snakes hiss and uh, frogs croak. So the answer is one. And the fifth question is choose the most appropriate word from the options given below to complete the following sentence. The principal presented the chief guest with the dash as token of appreciation. So the options are momento, memento, momentum and moment. Uh, as you can see option C and D can be easily eliminated. So we are left with momento and memento. So if uh, there is a chief guest uh, in your school or college, uh, you give him a memento. Okay, so the option is memento. That is B. That is the fifth question. Answer is uh, two. So the sixth question is uh, the following question presents a sentence. Part of it is underlined. Beneath the sentence, uh, you find four ways of phrasing the underlined part. Uh, following the requirements of the standard written English, select the answer that produces the most effective sentences. A sentence. Tuberculosis, together with its effects, ranks one of the leading causes of death in India. So the phrase is ranks one of the leading causes of death. So as you can see, the answer is one. So as you can see, uh, just read out the option. Uh, with the underlining, uh, eliminate the underlining sentence, uh, underline what is that phrase in the sentence and read it from the options. So, tuberculosis together with its effects ranks as one of the leading causes of death in India. So, it fits perfectly. Um, and the second one is also like rank. Uh, you don't uh, use one of the and a singular word. So, B is the wrong answer and has the rank of one of the leading causes so that is also wrong and you don't use uh, plural r and one of the in the sentence so complying the uh, with the english grammar the correct answer is a okay and uh, seventh one 
uh, let me show how to find the missing value in this question so we need to find the missing value here so you can see uh, the middle values these middle values are the uh, are found out by finding the averages of the numbers which are on the left and right so 5 is nothing but 6 plus 4 by 2 ok so that is why uh, this is first one and uh, 7 is what average of the left sided numbers and right sided numbers so add first one 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 2 plus 1 upon 2 so that is 7 plus 4 is 11 so that is 14 so 14 by 2 7 first uh, then uh, add these three numbers and add these three numbers take the average so 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 3 4 so 16 divided by 2 because uh, we will be left with just one number after summing the three numbers so this is 8 ok and next is uh, we will follow same 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 upon 2 this is 5, 5 by 5, uh, 10, 10 by 2 is 5 so this is done, this is done, this is done, this is done so x is what? we are just with the left with the one number on the left and one number on the right so 3 plus 3 by 2 so x is 3 ok so now read the following paragraph and choose the correct statement so let me read the sentence climate change has reduced human security and threatened human well-being an ignored reality of human progress is that human security largely depends upon environmental security but on the contrary human progress seems contradictory to environmental security to keep up both at required level is a challenge to be addressed by one and all one of the ways to curb the eliminate uh, climate change may be suitable scientific innovations while the other may be the Gandhian perspective on small scale progress with focus on sustainability so we need to choose the correct statement uh, whether human progress and security are positively associated with environmental security uh, that's what the sentence says uh, paragraph says no uh, because uh, just concentrate on the third line human progress seems contradictory to environmental security ok so there is environmental security so contradict and positive are opposite to each other so option A is false this is not the correct statement and another is B both B and C is so B is human progress is contradictory to environmental security so the line is human progress seems so concentrate on the word seems is means like it is 100% uh, human progress is contradictory seems means it may or may not it just seems from the outer side it means it seems but it is not the actual case but it depends up to some extent so we cannot say it is is so option B is wrong because of this word is and uh, you can see third option is human security is contradictory to environmental security uh, but the second line says human security largely depends upon environmental security so that is directly proportional to environmental security ok so option C is wrong however uh, option D is correct because human progress seems so the correct word to, uh, to replace seems is depends upon instead of is so the correct answer is D uh, a cube of uh, side 3 units is found using the set of smaller cubes of side 1 unit uh, find the number of cases of smaller cubes visible to those which are not visible uh, so uh, visible 
cubes to the one which are not visible. So here is the calculation. Uh, as you can see, uh, there will be like uh, 27 cubes because uh, inside of cube one month you'll get three rows. Uh, in one row you'll have nine cubes. Okay, so that is 27 cubes. So each cube has six faces. So that is 27 into 6 is 152. Uh, so non-visible uh, faces is 108, and visible faces 54. So the answer is simple: 54 by 108. The answer is 1 by 2. It is given here. The option C. Uh, so next question is: Humpty Dumpty sits on a wall every day while having lunch. The wall sometimes breaks. A uh, person sitting on the wall falls if the wall breaks. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I think uh, it depends upon uh, how you analyze. So, I think the answer is D, but I'm not sure. But I'm sure about the other nine questions. Okay. Thanks for watching.